All right, guys, we're back here on the uh, Mustang uh, 1990 GT. I've been having some problems here. Uh, getting weird high idle. Um, car's been breaking up at high RPM. And me and a buddy were playing around with this thing yesterday, trying to figure out what the issue is here. Now, when this car's running, sitting here idling fine, if you touch these wires here, this mess right here, the car will all of a sudden surge up to like three, 4,000, even higher sometimes on the RPM. So I'm tired of playing with this harness on this car, this engine harness right here. And I actually had another one right over here. And it has all the TPS and everything on it for me. Uh, the TPS, the EGR plug, everything's here. Two of the fuel injector plugs are missing the clips here or the side compared to like this one. But that's all right, we'll somehow make it work. And uh, yeah, I had this laying around, I forgot I even had it. So what we're gonna do today is pull off this intake and everything, and uh, we're gonna swap the wiring harness out and see what happens. Um, I'm gonna try starting the car right now, see if I could duplicate the, uh, what we were happening, the duplicate the idles changing like it did yesterday when we were um, diagnosing the problem. So hold on one second, let me start it up. All right, we got it running. Just started it up, it's cold. So let's see what happens. shut off now um yeah i couldn't really get it to uh, replicate what it was doing yesterday but just touching these wires over here this harness was a mess the day i bought the car i already uh uh took the looming all off this entire harness underneath here went through it all fixed a couple uh rips in the wires uh, we had um the copper exposed wiring so i fixed a bunch of those things throughout the whole harness up here Retaped it all up, put it back in, and I've always had problems with this uh, TPS connector here, and I'm just, I'm done playing with it. I'm not, that's it. I got another one, we'll try it. And uh, go from there. Another thing too, these wires right here get so hot that you can't even touch them. I mean, these things are hot, hot, hot compared to any of the other wiring throughout the car. So there's a problem somewhere within this harness that I must have missed before. So. That's why we're at the point where we're just gonna replace the whole damn thing and go from there. We'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, I'll turn the camera back on when I got uh, most of this apart. It's all pretty simple. Just take this off, intake comes off, blah, blah, done. And then uh, we'll unplug the uh, salt and pepper shakers in the back there. And then uh, we'll rehook everything up and see how it goes. So hold on. All right, quick update here. Ah, uh, I decided I tried charging the AC and it wouldn't work. So this thing basically needs a whole new system. Uh, I would buy that kit online for 600, and I think it's 40 bucks. But the summer's almost over, so I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just removing everything. Uh, no matter what I did with these fittings right here, these were not coming out. So I had to cut them. Cut this one right over here. Uh, I'm still playing with it, trying to get that out. Uh, we'll see what we can do on that, but look at, to get that off. If not, I'm gonna slice it back so it's a little bit more um, even with the uh, the outlet there. But it frees up a lot of room, so I'm actually happy with that. And I ordered a UPR uh, pulley so I can pull this um, AC compressor off here. I didn't plan on doing this. It's just I'm looking at it and I said, you know what? I tried filling it. It wouldn't turn. It wouldn't work. So let's just get rid of it. So I'm waiting for the pulley to come in. We'll throw that on. And then, uh, yeah, so let me get back to uh, what I was originally planning on doing and changing the harness. So we'll be back. Yeah, right, we got the intake off sitting here. So we're good there. As you can see, I got it all 
from the last time I pulled this freaking harness apart. It's all nice and tidy in here. Everything's all taped and done correctly. There's just there's something wrong somewhere in this mess right here. I don't know. I'm not playing with it anymore. So we're going to... Basically, I just got to do a lot of disconnecting here, like here. I got to cut all my zip ties I put on here all the way around and just unplug everything, remove it. And uh, yeah, we'll put the new one in and see how she goes. So hold on one second while I pull this apart. All right, so we got this uh, harness all cleaned up. I used some of this cloth tape I got on Amazon. Works pretty good, seems heavy duty. First time I ever used it. So yeah, we got everything all nice and buttoned up here. Oh, it's just time to install at this point. So let's see how she goes. All right. Get this thing thrown in here and uh, we should be good. So hold on. All right, we're back. Got it all tidied up. Gonna put the intake on in a minute. Right there. I'm um, gonna reuse the old gasket, it looks fine. I got everything tidied up. Zip tied on here, the TFI module, harness, this one. These are a little bit higher than the other ones were, but I'll get to do intake on it and we'll figure these out after that. I think they used to mount somewhere right here. I don't remember. I probably got to Google it. But wherever they lie, they lie. That's where we're going to end up. Um, this time I'm trying to squeeze through the fuel pressure regulator and the intake under the uh, throttle body and all this right here and see if we can run this over here versus on top of the heater hoses here or underneath here. I don't know, I'm gonna try it like this and see what happens. So I'm gonna chop this out here right now or I shouldn't say chop, I'm going to drop this on here right now and uh, we'll go from there, see if it works. So hold on. All right, we're back, we got it all together. Everything's buttoned up here. It's all looking pretty good. Maybe got my EGR uh, fooler in there. Everything's done nice. I still got to zip tie my fuel pressure gauge to the brake line here. And then I got to do something with these, with the salt and pepper shakers here. Um, but we're ready for our first start. Everything seems to be good. I don't see any problems. So let's grab the keys. Now, the battery's been unplugged, so when you first start it up, anyone that has these knows it's got to find its idle. So, let's take a look here. Alrighty. See if we get a check edge of light. Didn't have one on before, so shouldn't have one on now. It's a few days later. I finally got this in the mail. Got it delivered from Amazon here. Ah, uh, UPR. So here's the AC delete pulley. 
looks pretty good, feels sturdy. You know, it does have instructions here. I'll put them on here in case you go to do it. If you don't have instructions, you can just pause the video. There you go. Anyways, uh, got the serpentine belt off. Mine's a 16 millimeter to pull this up. Um, yeah, and uh, now I just gotta pull the bolts off this, remove this compressor. At this point, I'm not sure if this bracket stays or goes. I don't know yet, um, but we'll find out here pretty soon. So uh, let me get on this, and uh, when I get the compressor off and I get the uh, uh, the pulley lined up, we'll go from there. So hold on. And I'm back for a quick update. Uh, I forgot to mention, 13 millimeter wrench I'm using. You know, uh, we got a bolt here, bolt here, um, nothing over there, but there's two behind here. See, there's one here, and then there's one on the other side over there. So, I don't know what to do with that. Or I just might take this one off and this one off down over here and pull it off that way. Yeah, that might be the, the right way. Let's see if we can get to this bolt over here. Yep, we can get a, an extension and a socket on there. All right, so... Uh, yeah, let me pull this thing off and let's go from there. So hold on. All right, one little more surprise. Actually, two. This bolt broke as soon as I touched it. Just boom, broke right off. So beware of that. And I'm going to flip this camera upside down. There's one more bolt right there. So we got one here, one here, one over here, this one, and then this one went right in from here up to the... This went right here with an extension. No problem, came right out. So uh, let me get this last bolt and this should be off. So hold on. All right, we got it off. Pretty straightforward. I'll end up putting all the bolts for this where I can back in here. And then like this one over here. Which one was it? Probably this one. I'll just sink it back in. You never know. Maybe next year I can put the AC back on. See how it goes. But I need heads and cam and all that before I play with air conditioning. And these other two bolts right here. Uh, let's see. Let's flip this thing over here. Those will be going on soon enough. See one more here. Oh, I must have put the other bolt over here. Here's the broken one. Here's the other one. This really makes me mad. Out of all this paint you see here, I have no black. Not one can of black anywhere here. Really, really upsetting. Otherwise, I would spray this black right now. Why not, right? But no such luck. Could be done on another day. Put this in here. And you see how easy it is to put this uh, pulley back on. You're going to be like, wow. All right, the instructions say line the three holes up. So the only three holes I could see is this one, this one, and this one. So let's grab this. And here we go. And it should go like that. I don't think it goes like this. Well, maybe it does go this way and the bolt goes from the back side. All right, I gotta look that up. Because if you look down here, that's, no, this is too far out. All right, let's try it like this. Yep, that matches. Maybe the camera don't show it, but this is too far out like this. So there we go. All right, so let me get this bolted on. I'll put the serpentine belt on and we'll take a look at it. And it came with its own hardware right here. So hold on. All right, we're all set. I started it up, everything runs good. Belt didn't slip off. It's on there, I got plenty of Loctite on these. Uh, these were 14 millimeters. 
versus the factory ones that were on the AC compressor over there. They were 13. Yeah, and this goes on the back side. They clearly said it in the instructions too. Yeah, so there we go. It's on there. Yeah, that cleans it up. Gives me lots of room for activities in the engine bay here or the engine. So yeah, that's the only reason why I did it. A little more room, especially back there and over here. So uh, maybe next year we'll hook up the AC. Anyway, so that's the end of this video. It's long enough. So we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, I know I said that's the end, but I want to make one little quick thing. I'm about to change my uh, TFI module. Car's breaking up at the higher RPMs, losing power up there. But just to show you something, look at all the room now to get to the bolt for the distributor. Ah, right there, paid off. Just, just because of that now. I don't have to squish my hands in there anymore. Pretty sweet. So yeah, I'm definitely giving this two thumbs up. Uh, I'd rather have AC, so don't get me wrong. But hey, if I'm not going to have it, at least now it makes life a lot easier. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, she's running really good right now. They, the plugs are still gapped at uh, 54 thousandths for the Screaming Demon. Bye-bye.